this morning I'm trying to get out here a little earlier so the goats can have some time outside before any drizzling might start there's a small chance of rain in the forecast so it might be later today so I want them to get some fresh air and exercise it is so yucky it's muddy the wind is cold Remember that day last week that it was 70 degrees out and I was wearing a t-shirt and sweating in the garden? Georgia. Crazy weather. For those of you that are curious, all the ducks are here. I hear a little bit of crow activity in the woods, but it doesn't sound centralized in one location. So my thinking is, is that they are actually setting out scouts to keep the owl away. So that's super awesome. I'm, I'm really proud of them. How do I reward a crow? Somebody mentioned that they give their crows dog food. Maybe I should put a little extra pile of dog food out in the paddock somewhere. spring is in the air with the ducks and uh, you can tell that we have the electricity off of our fence during the day unfortunately when we tried to hatch silver apple yards we only got one male that hatched so now I've got one silver silver apple yard male in the connection group like you know wanting to be friends with my anaconas and that's not what we want we don't want to crossbreed although it would be a great cross um i don't that's not what i'm trying to do so that means i have to um get him out and put him in with the other group you notice how there's five that are all different breeds that stick together and then the other 10 it's because they were from different time periods anywho I don't know whether I should cull him or um, try to sell him maybe because he's he is a rare breed there could be somebody in my area that might want him but because he's a rare breed, there's a good chance there's not anybody in my area that wants him. Um, I'm just moving this fence. We're getting ready to move them to the other side over there. So we've been inching it closer a little bit at a time. And I saw they were getting this green grass. So I'm going to give them a little extra section of green to eat. See what happens when it rains for days and days and days. These ducks never lay their eggs in a nest box or in a dry area. They lay them out in the middle of the mud. I just don't know how to get them to stop doing that. They just drop them wherever they are or whenever the feeling arises to lay an egg. <sighs> but I'm glad that they're laying. We've been getting a lot more eggs from the chickens and the ducks. I think the ducks thought I was feeding them when I went over there and moved the fence. And of course, they didn't even pay any attention to the grass that I opened up for them. 
Every morning I come out here and I scan the pond for all of Mrs. Duck's favorite places to sit. Keep thinking she's gonna be there. Hopefully one of these mornings I'm right. The garlic is coming up beautifully. I love it. I cannot wait till we are able to harvest this bounty. The collards and even the kale a little bit are bouncing back from the real cold we had. You can see we lost some that were frost damaged on their stems, but the ones that remained are starting to grow new growth. So now that the carrots have been harvested, the ginger was harvested, and the beans are obviously done from last season, I'm thinking that this row right here, I could plant some spring greens for our family use. Probably not enough for the market or anything, but get a little bit of kale and lettuce maybe. I'll see what I have in my seed collection. But the asparagus still is not up. I'm, I'm a watching it closely. I saw somebody in Georgia posted that their asparagus was starting to come up and I thought, no way. But I keep looking near where these stems are to see if I see any crowns coming up but nothing yet which is okay it's probably too early for them it'll be interesting to see how they do this year something i'm doing differently this year is i would normally have already started my tomatoes peppers eggplants anything of the of that um hot weather uh, so any of the nightshade family i'm actually waiting i'm not sewing them I'm not starting them early like I normally do inside under lights. I am not doing that because in March I want to go see my mother. And if I have seedlings left for a farm sitter to take care of, there's a high likelihood that they'll get either watered too much or not watered enough. In the past, that's been my experience. It's even leaving them with Ryan, they don't do well. <laughs> I baby my babies, so I'd rather just have a late tomato crop and a late pepper crop and then have none at all. Um, also, with the closest market not opening till June, it's, there's no point in me hurrying and rushing. So I'm gonna do some of the direct sown stuff, some of the spring crops that I'll direct sow as soon as I get a chance, which like I should have already done, but I'll, I'll never catch up with everything, but I can try to stay on top of most. My real hardcore focus and determination for success is with my herd right here this year. Next year, I'm hoping that I can expand my garden even more, but this year I really feel like the focus is on expanding my herd and getting the good level of milk production so that we can do pet sales. And I think we are in the right path to achieving that goal. So I'm feeling really good about it. All right, that's all for today out here. Until later on, thank you guys for watching. You know the drill. We'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots.